I call the big bed. Anyone wants to challenge me, we can play a hand of cards. I'm leaving my shoes on. Do you think it's strange that I kind of miss Ada? Inspector. Uh, tell me. I beg your pardon. There's nothing to prove. I don't understand. Are you trying to... I expect you to deliver the name of Helen's killer. I expect you... We're done. I'm a defensive, Inspector, because you're convinced I murdered... If you have no proof... Wait, don't move a muscle. Someone's just tripped my alarm. And my security defenses. And killed my patrols. The distillery is under attack. Someone's after me, Inspector. I Forget what I said. Damn it, someone's interfering with my... Whoever the real killer is, I got a feeling they're going after Mr. Ludovico. We need to catch up to him, fast. I guess, if we have to. Getting kind of tired of kicking my heels up in the penthouse all day. Hmm. Oh. We should definitely go. As for helping him, maybe we take... From the depths of Terra 2 to the heights of Eridanos, there's no mess that your SAM unit can't unstick, unplug, or unsully. Think of this as an opportunity. My last quarterly review said I had an attitude problem. Morale improvement program, six meter item.
Oh, this. This is heavenly. Think they'll have free samples? Maybe new colors they haven't tested yet. I wonder what a Spectrum Fuchsia would taste like. A twin? <laughs> the only thing worse than being an only child has got to be having a perfect sibling. Can you imagine the parents? Linda and I were the best kept secret in the business. Nobody could tell us apart. And certainly not a peevish, petty, miserable little worm like Quentin Ludovico. So when I discovered the truth, when I realized what Ludovico was about to unleash on this colony, Belinda paid the price. My plan to save Halcyon. I'm not a murderer, Inspector. I acted in defense. I had to defend Halcyon's future. Tell the truth, Ludovico. There's nothing safe about Spectrum Brown. You want to infest this entire colony with those disgusting parasites. They're not parasites. 
These creatures are symbiotic life forms. The symbiotes evoke a feeling of joy in their host. A bliss so pure, so profound, as to render the most exquisite recreational substance obsolete. Oh, don't you see, Inspector? I want to bring joy. A host only turns violent if they're carrying too many symbiotes, or if they see you as a threat. In its natural state, the relationship between symbiote and host is perfect. Listen to me. I never wanted to take a life, but I had no choice. But what about Helen? What about all the in- No one I crossed off was innocent. Have you met Dr. Blossom? She was practically a reptile. A cold-blooded psychopath who toyed with human lives in the name of scientific advancement. Leora Blossom wasn't a person. She was a weapon in Ludovico's arsenal. You call... The mascot was a spy working for Ludovico. He was ordered to keep an eye on Belinda and I, and report back to his master. You're being paranoid. I barely knew the fellow. Don't try to deny it. Anywhere Belinda and I went, that mascot was there, just watching. He was a Rizzo's employee. He belonged to Dr. Leora Blossom, Maria Keene, that flack wit of a mascot. They were... I went through them. She was on Ludovico's side. When she realized I was alive, she refused to stay silent. I gave Maria a chance. I told her about Belinda. I asked for her help, but she turned me down. Maria had a duty to her company, and I had a duty to Belinda. You know what you need to do. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Throw in with... Think of the future, Inspector. A lifetime of bliss and joy for every colonist in Halcyon. We can make that happen. You want me to explain my grand plan in the middle of a climactic moment like some two... We've talked enough. It's a deal. Couldn't agree more. The last thing this colony needs. We don't have a lot of time. We. Uh uh, not so fast. I'm sorry to do this to you, Inspector. Truly, I am. If it's any console. Goodbye, Inspector. Damn it. He sealed us in, but I think I know another way out.
Parasites bursting out of their bodies. Fat and wriggling with vitality. You're a step ahead of me, Inspector. Clearly a woman of many talents. An airborne pesticide of some kind. I think you may be onto something. Let's meet back at... See you soon, Inspector. Careful. These will give you retinal damage if you stare too long. Job, we are on the job. 
Can I take mine to go? Even the air in here feels too sweet. Almost sticky. It's strange. When you walk through that door, I half expected to see Belinda. Belinda and I practically shared a life. Losing her feels like losing a limb. She's conspicuous by her absence. I appreciate the sympathy, Inspector. Thank you. We shut down Ludovico's distillation plant, but he's not gonna sit idly by. If he can't use Spectrum Brown to infect the colony, he'll resort to some kind of backup plan. I stole this formula from Dr. Blossom, a failed prototype of Spectrum Brown. Look at this. The prototype had the opposite effect, and actually... This is Halcyon. Everyone's already miserable. We're going to need two ingredients. A sample of essence of Sprat, and one intact pod of parasite eggs. Cedric's warehouse in the Piraeus spaceport almost certainly carries a batch of Sprat essence. As for the pod, I'd check the wilderness reserve if I were you. I'm glad one of us is an expert. Most of what I know... Sprats have an adaptive immune system. They don't suffer from the diseases and parasites they carry. It's one reason why you'll see them in every corner of the colony. Dr. Blossom experimented with Sprats and accidentally discovered a way to become immune to the parasite. You're a scientist and an inspector? I borrowed a centrifuge from the research lab. Use the ingredients... I'm glad I could count on you. Once you're finished, head to the pilot house. We'll hijack the control system and disperse the cure into the atmosphere. That should kill off most of the parasites. Are you worried I'm gonna sh- You're right. You Here. There is one other thing. While you're at Piraeus Spaceport, have a word with Cedric Kincannon. I know Cedric. There's nothing he wants more than... Best of luck in... I'm not accustomed to talking about Belinda. But Belinda and I shared the role of Helen. But she was also the only person who knew the real me. To the rest of the colony, I'm Halcyon Helen. 
But to my sister, I'm... I was just Ruth. I could be myself around Belinda. And she could be herself around me. She was my... No. Belinda enjoyed the secrecy. She could slip into the role of Halcyon. And then, when she grew tired of all the people and all the attention, all she had to do was slip out of the role and be my sister again. She was the secret twin. She had a comfortable life in the shadows, an easier life. What I want is my sister back. But Parents, naturally. An agent, a couple of directors. None of them. To them, Helen was a brand. Revealing our secret meant damaging that brand. Damaging that brand. Belinda and I saw Helen as... an act of theatric sleight of hand. We enjoyed the deception, the challenge. And if I hadn't underestimated Ludovico, you and I probably wouldn't be talking about Belinda in the past tense. We wouldn't be talking about her at all. It should have been me in that ballroom. Never mind that. I'm glad. Yes, Inspector. I did. Leora Blossom and Maria Keane were on Ludovico's side. They chose to... I had to cross them off. Would you believe me if I said I gave the constable a chance? I spoke to her in her office. Maria said I was guilty of corporate sabotage and that she had a duty to report me. She told me how sorry she was, and I... Maria was defending my sister's killer. So you do... Was there anything... Yes, this is mine. I'd kept notes on everything I suspected, everything I'd discovered. It's all here, all in code. Belinda and I... We had a secret way of communicating. Words and phrases that had a special meaning to us. Numbers and dates that were only important. Only two people in the universe knew that language. That's... You don't know how many times I relived this moment in my mind. I discovered what Ludovico was up to when I toured the orchards. I threatened to expose his plan. Ludovico decided to eliminate me. He programmed Burbage 3001 to fire on his command and disabled the security cameras in the ballroom. Only, he didn't know about Belinda. I'm sure he thought it was my skull he caved in with a bottle of Spectrum Brown. Burbage covered his blow with the plasma shot, and then Ludovico wiped his memory. I don't think he expected you to be so competent. I went after Leora Blossom, and you were just one step behind me. I programmed an automech to steal some explosives from Cedric, but you weren't far behind. You were always hot on my heels, one step behind him catching up. I realized... I like your con. It's a long. St it was supposed to be just another marketing job. Rizzo's wanted Halcyon Helen to be the face of Spectrum Brown. Some hideous concoction served with a dead parasite. All we had to do was spend a few weeks on Eridanos, shake some hands, sign a few autographs, drink a bottle of Spectrum Brown in front of a camera, and try to smile. Belinda didn't want to go. But I wanted a change of scenery. In any case, we couldn't possibly say no. Belinda always hated endorsement deals. They felt cheap to her, inauthentic. She always believed her first priority was to our fans, and not the company that bought us out. Belinda and I arrived on Eridanos and played our usual game of trading places. We were practically flawless. Even Ludovico didn't know about us. Belinda was unhappy for the first few days. But then she met Bertie Holcomb. Bertie treated her like a human being and not just an Aetherwave icon. They were just about perfect.
Bertie didn't know the truth about Belinda and I. He thought he was dating Ruth Bellamy, and Belinda... She didn't want to lie to him. He would have loved her anyway. Bertie is... an uncomplicated fellow. I think Belinda wanted... Belinda ended her relationship with Bertie all by herself. She didn't want to lie to him, and... Bertie has a dreadful temper. I was worried about Belinda for a while, but... Bertie wasn't the person I should... I had a feeling Ludovico was hiding something. Belinda stayed busy socializing with the celebrities around the complex. That gave me some time to do a little digging. I saw everything. The test subjects, the parasites. Spectrum Brown was never safe to drink. Those harmless dead parasites at the bottom of every bottle. It would have sold out in a month. This colony loves novelty. They'll eat up any new product we toss their way. A new From Emerald Vale to Byzantium. A parasite in every brain and a grin on every face. I was careless. I was... I wish it were that easy. Was there something? Is this how people in Byzantium live all the time? Everything's so... soft and silky and... expensive. 